The Silky Terrier's coat is flat, glossy, and of course, silky. See how the coat hangs absolutely straight to either side of a part starting from above the eyes and running to the set-on of the tail. It is a fine textured single coat. There is no undercoat. This coat has a slight wave, which is acceptable, though less desirable than a straight coat. The silky should have a top knot, as seen here, but long hair on the muzzle and ears is objectionable. The silky should be clean pointed, that is, the legs from front and rear pasterns to the feet should be free of long hair. The tail, however, should be well coated to balance with the body coat. This dog's coat is too long. Although the coat of a mature dog should fall below the body, it should never mask the outline of the body. Excessive coat length is not typical of the breed and should not be considered a virtue. This coat is correct. It should feel smooth to the touch, never harsh, wiry, or woolly. The ideal silky, as described in the standard, is a naturally clean-pointed dog, requiring only tidying up of the feet, ears, and tail for the show ring. The result should be a natural, not sculpted appearance. As for color, the Silky Terrier's coat should be blue and tan, like this, with a fawn or silver top knot. The blue extends from the base of the skull to the tip of the tail. It runs halfway down the front of the forelegs and down the thighs to the hocks. The tan appears on the muzzle, sides of cheeks, and around the base of the ears. In youngsters, there is also a tan spot over each eye, which blends into the light top knot with maturity. A tan line shows on the legs like this, and around the vent. Young dogs may sometimes have black coats or sootiness in the top knot. Judges should check to see if the blue color is beginning to clear. Black body coats are acceptable only in young dogs. The blue color can range from silver blue to pigeon blue to slate blue. The tan should be deep and rich. A body coat which is only silver is not acceptable. Check with your hands. A true silver blue coat will have dark roots like this, while a silver coat with no blue will have light roots and is faulty. The tan points must be rich, deep, and clear like this. Fawn, sooty, or reddish tan is not correct. Sootiness on the face or head is extremely objectionable. Also remember that the top knot can be fawn, like this, or silver, but never tan. It should never be the same color as the face and feet. Note the clear demarcation between tan and blue in the rear. The dogs in this group have correct blue and tan coats. No preference should be given to any of these colors, so long as they fall within the ranges of blue and tan allowed by the standard. Movement is the crucial test of any dog's conformation. The Silky's movement should be free, light-footed, lively, and straightforward. There should be good reach in front and drive from behind. From the front, the foreleg should move straight ahead, not being thrown out to the side nor crossing over. There is a slight convergence of the legs toward a central line of gravity but the leg should form a straight column with no towing in or out. From the rear, the strong drive from the hindquarters should be evident. The hocks should remain parallel to each other, and there should be a straight column of support from hip to hock. The silky terrier should show agility, style, and freedom in movement. The gait should never be bouncy or restricted. See how the top line remains firm and level. Remember, too, that temperament is an important part of your judging. 
shyness, fear, or hostility is unacceptable. There should be no doubt of a Silkie's terrier background. It should be clearly evident in the breed's typical keen alertness, shown by bright, watchful eyes and a pertly carried tail. It is this delightful temperament that has won the Silky Terrier so many devoted friends and a secure place in the world of purebred dogs.